What's going on, guys? My name is Frank Wack. I'm here today with Miss Caitlin Glass, the beautiful, awesome, multi-talented voice actress, director. <laughs> she can do it all. It's ridiculous. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> How's Consolation going? So far, so good. All right. Let's get down to it. I, uh, I got to interview Kyler Barrett at GlitchCon a few weeks back, I guess. And uh, in a Q&A, he said that he had auditioned for multiple characters, and I asked him in our interview, and he mentioned, you know, auditioning for Bison, El Fuerte of all characters. Imagine Kyler Bear doing I'm Spanish. sure we could do it. It's kind of, it was kind of funny he did it in the video. Um, did you audition for anybody other than Cammy? I did. I also auditioned for Sakura mm -hmm. and chun -Li. And did you have to audition for DiCaprio? No. So you, I just, not. you just got it right off the bat. That's yes, awesome. Yes, because it's Cammy's clone, so. Yeah. Uh, it's, no. <laughs> I got you. Uh, no. <laughs> I got you. Um, second question how, how does it feel to play some of anime's most independent women? Uh, it feels pretty good. I mean, it's nice to, um, to meet fans who have connected with these particular characters sure. and feel very fortunate. Um, I guess I just got lucky because it's the character, really, that, yeah. that people love. Anybody mm -hmm. could have voice them and then that person would be in this interview with you, <laughs> Maybe. not me. So it's the character that, uh, that resonates with folks, so I just feel very, very fortunate. That's awesome. That's awesome. So we just got done with your autograph signing. Yeah. Um, not just her, it was everybody's autograph signing. The question comes to the mind, what's the weirdest thing you've ever been asked to sign? Mm -hmm. Nothing really too strange, um, you know, sign my piece of candy, sign my <laughs> shoe, sign my shirt, sign, you know, articles of clothing. All of those except shirts on the yeah. <laughs> um, Candy? <laughs> yeah, I've signed someone's piece of candy before. They not, it was wrapped up in uh -oh. something, but <laughs> well. you, know, you, you sign their pieces of their cosplay costumes and um, I can't think of anything really weird. No, nothing, nothing jumps out, so. Sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so who's the most fun character to voice? The most fun is definitely Haruhi in Oran High School Host Club. She's my favorite. I love the show. I love playing her. Um, I don't have my, all don't my, have my, all my friend in it. All my so. twins buttons. Oh, cool. I'm a huge fan of the twins. Oh, they're, they're very them. funny. Yes. So it was just uh, it was like a dream and she's a funny girl and everything about the show is awesome. So I loved, I loved it. Awesome. Um, Um, you mentioned it in your Q&A, I caught it for just a little while, at the, the first con you went to. Mm -hmm. um, what was the experience just total like? Um, it was pretty overwhelming uh, because I'd never been to a convention before. Uh, so just the experience of seeing all of the cosplayers and then meeting all of these voice actors that were at once people that I admired and also suddenly my colleagues because I'm in these shows now too. So it was pretty awesome and really special just to be accepted immediately yeah. into, the, into their community. Like people whose voices I've been hearing in shows that I've been watching mm. or I heard their voices because I was recording and, and they were in the same shows as me but I hadn't met them yet. Mm. So it was uh, really very cool. Like that's what I'm meeting people like Monica Rial and Chris Patton and then other people that I would in the future work with, like Johnny Young Bosch and other people that I still haven't worked with, but still very much admire. Like, I met Steve Bloom that weekend and yeah. uh, had a great time, like, signing autographs sitting next to him. I'm like, why am I sitting next to you? You are incredible. <laughs> and I'm just some person signing things. Nobody has even heard me yet. That was what was really wild. No one had even heard my voice yet as far as fandom was concerned. Nothing that I'd done had been released. Um, Maybe they'd heard like some case closed or something on TV, but other than that, like Spiral wasn't out. Full Metal was about to start on television, but it's just the fact that they told people there that I was there and I was wintry, and immediately everyone wanted my autograph. I'm like, what if I'm terrible? What if I suck? But that's like I mentioned before. It isn't really about me. It's the character that they love. So. But that's like I mentioned before. It isn't really about me. It's the character that they love. So. You've been voice acting for how long? This is my 11th year. 11 years. Um, what can we expect in the future of Caitlin Glass as a voice? Ah, there's a lot of cool stuff coming out, but I can't tell you what it is. Oh. About five different shows that I'm either doing or I just finished. 
that uh, haven't been announced, so I can't talk about them. Okay. In the near future, though, actually, I, I'm not, I don't think the game comes out until next year, but they're starting to finally uh, promote it, a new game from Gearbox called Battleborn. And I played the main character, well, one of the main playable characters um, named, oh my gosh, her name just escaped me. <laughs> Dude, oh, her name's Thorn. I think that's right. We'll cut it Sorry, suddenly. Cousin. Yeah, <laughs> no, they would laugh that I can't remember suddenly. I'm like, what's her name? But it's because when you work on a thing, I didn't even know what the game was called until a few weeks ago. Mm. Everything has like code names. Right. So to me, it's code name is, I'm not going to tell you. But <laughs> I'm like, oh, that game, I'm like, that's not what the game's called? Like, no, that's not what the game is called. That's a terrible name for a game. <laughs> so that's why I wasn't even sure. But I'm, I am Thorn in, in Battleborn from Gearbox. And uh, that's rad. And I hope that everybody likes it. The, um, the trailer so far is beautiful. So. The trailer so far is beautiful. So. Um, which is the harder role? The voice acting of a character or the directing of the anime? The directing is far more difficult uh, because of everything that you have to know in order to be a director. To be an actor, I don't have to know anything really. <laughs> you just show up and I know what the voice is and I perform based on what I'm seeing on the screen and what the director tells me. But the director knows everything. Everything about the show, everything there is to know, all about the relationships and the language and the director has to rewrite things on the fly and deal with the translations and uh, deal with all of the flaps of the animation. And it's just, it's a much more uh, demanding job. It's a much more uh, demanding job. Director. This is actually not on my questions. It is something that I think I, I find it really funny. Um, you do a lot of anime with Dick, mm -hmm. and a lot of, especially the, the, the two the two big ones, um, Full Metal and Oran High, mm -hmm. you seem to almost be the sidekick to Vic Bignana. I don't really think so. You know? I mean, that, because uh, I think I've done over 100 shows and Vic's probably done twice as many, <laughs> and now he lives in Los Angeles and we don't really do that many shows together. Like, it's, but, but I do more shows with, like, J. Michael Tatum or... Chris Sabat than with Vic, but it's just because Full Metal is a long show and it's popular and because Oran is a popular show, that it appears that I do so many shows with Vic and it really, it's just probably only a handful. Yeah. just thought it was kind of funny, you're kind of just playing the second role with them all. Yeah, not all the time. It would be nice to perform with them more, but it just it lives in a different place now. So. He's a cool guy. Um, that's all I got. Um, thank you guys for watching. It's again, I'm Frank Wack. I'm here with the awesome Caitlin Glass. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. And uh, I will see you guys next time.